Hi and welcome, my name is Becky and today we are looking at pedestrian crossings. And thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support. You can find all of our driver tutorials at our training zone at lpodacademy.co.uk and you can sign up to our driver test tips at our website. Check out our blog at learnapod.co.uk and find us on social media. And remember, please like, share and comment below you will find some useful tools you can watch youtube videos visit our training zone at our website our blog site at learnerpod.co.uk and of course lots of patience and practice pedestrian crossings during this lesson tutorial you will learn all about pedestrian crossings in the uk there are many types of crossings some are controlled by traffic lights and some aren't it's really important to learn all about the many different types of crossings we have here in the uk okay so controlled pedestrian crossings as it says, it is controlled by traffic lights. There are many types, and these can include pelican crossings, puffin crossings, and toucan crossings. Each type of crossing has many different benefits. The non-controlled type of crossings include police officers, traffic controllers, zebra crossings, and school patrols, or otherwise known as lollipop lady or man. Okay, pelican crossings can be found in urban and built-up areas, very often in town and city centres. They are controlled by traffic lights and have a flashing amber stage. Some useful tips. Number one, do not overtake cyclists or other road users within the zone of the zigzags. Number two, do not wave pedestrians to cross the road. Number three, anticipate the traffic lights changing and stop within the white solid line. Number four, use the ladder routine on the approach to the crossing followed by the use of the MSPSL routine. Number five, do not park within the zone of the zigzags. Number six, make sure the pedestrians have crossed the road before you proceed ahead. Number seven, you should give way on a flashing amber and proceed if the road is clear. Puffin crossings can be found in urban and built-up areas, very often in town and city centres. They are controlled by traffic lights and do not have a flashing amber stage. Puffin stands for Pedestrian User Friendly Intelligent Crossing. An infrared light or sensor detects activity on the crossing and if a lot of pedestrians are crossing the road, the traffic lights will hold the traffic on a red light for longer. This helps reduce congestion in towns and city centres. Some useful tips include Number 1. Do not overtake cyclists or other road users within the zone of the zigzags. Number 2. Do not wave pedestrians to cross the road. Number 3. Anticipate the traffic lights changing and stop within the white solid line. Number four, use the ladder routine on the approach to the crossing followed by the use of the MSPSL routine. Number five, do not park within the zone of the zigzags. Toucan crossings are for pedestrians and cyclists. Cyclists are not permitted to dismount their bikes whilst crossing the road. Toucan crossings can be found near hospitals, universities and colleges. 
They are controlled by traffic lights and do not have a flashing amber stage like the Pelican Crossing does. The word toucan was created due to two can cross together, pedestrians and cyclists. The crossing is usually 4 metres wide instead of the usual 2.8 metres wide that are found on Pelican and Puffin crossings. Some useful tips include Number 1. Cyclists are permitted to cycle across the road if the road is clear. Number 2. Pedestrian crossings are wider than other types of crossings. Number 3. The Pegasus crossing is a similar crossing that has been designed for horse riders. Number 4. Overtaking on the approach is not permitted within the zigzags. Pegasus crossings or equestrian crossings are designed for horses, riders and pedestrians. These types of crossings can be found on bridleways, country lanes and rural areas. Pegasus crossings usually come with a wooden fence and are wider than normal. The control panel displays a red or green man for pedestrians and dismounted riders and another pictogram showing an image of a horse is displayed 2 metres from the ground for mounted riders. Some useful tips. Number 1. Do not overtake on the approach to the crossing. Number 2. Do not rev your engine as you may startle the horses. Number 3. Do not wave pedestrians across the road. Zebra crossings are not controlled by traffic lights. They are identified by their distinctive black and white lines and flashing amber beacons. Approaching traffic should give way to awaiting pedestrians on the pavement and also who are on the crossing itself. Zebra crossings can be found in residential areas, town centres and often near schools and colleges. Some useful tips. Number one, wait for the pedestrian to finish crossing the road before proceeding ahead. You should make sure that their feet are back on the pavement. Number two, if the pedestrian crossing is clear, you may proceed ahead. Number three, do not rev your engine nor wave pedestrians across the road. Number four, do not park or overtake within the zigzag lines of the crossing. School patrol. School patrol personnel or lollipop ladies and gents often direct the traffic outside of school at pick up and drop off times. They display a stop sign to instruct traffic when to stop to allow pedestrians to cross the road. Very often, lollipop ladies or men can be found on or nearby a zebra crossing. Some useful tips. Number one, obey the stop sign. Number two, understand hand signals. Number three, make sure the road is clear before proceeding ahead. Number four, drive at an appropriate speed for the road and weather conditions. When it comes to learning to drive, it is really important to anticipate the actions of all road users, especially pedestrians. Vulnerable road users such as children, the elderly and the disabled may cross the road at any time and not necessarily at a pedestrian crossing. In America, it is an illegal offence to cross the road unless you are at a designated pedestrian crossing. In the UK, this is not illegal. As a new driver, be sure to anticipate the actions of all pedestrians when driving. Pedestrians can and will cross the road wherever possible. Please drive carefully whilst anticipating their actions. The driving exam. When it comes to your driving test, it's really important to not commit some of the following common mistakes on your exam. Common errors include, number one, not responding to the traffic lights. Number two, not waiting long enough for pedestrians to cross the road. Number three, parking on zigzags. Number four, overtaking within the zone of the zigzags. Number five, waving pedestrians to cross the road. Number six, not giving way to pedestrians waiting to cross the road. Number seven, not proceeding forward on a flashing amber light if the crossing is clear of pedestrians. You should become confident when dealing with pedestrian crossings, know the rules of the road and respond accordingly. 
For more driving test tips, please visit our video training series, Partial Driving Test First Time. This video series explains the driving test sheet, the marking criteria, and comes with over 30 videos to explain the subjects included in the driving exam. Please like, share, comment, and tell your friends about these training series. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. We welcome all your feedback and comments in the description below all of these videos. And you can sign up to our driving test tips email service at our website. This email service will send you daily emails throughout our whole training program. So it's a really good thing to sign up to. And you can check out our blog at learnerpod.co.uk. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. And remember, please like, share and comment below this video. And of course, if you are looking for an intensive driving course, please visit our website for more details. Until next time, take care.